To add a pin to History Pin, go to your profile page after signing into your account and click Add a Pin on the right hand sidebar, or scroll down and click the large Pin Something button. Additionally, if you'd like to add a pin into someone else's collection, go to the collection page and contribute through there. Once you click the button to contribute, you will be taken to the contribute page where you can upload a photo from your computer or an existing URL, an audio or video link from YouTube, SoundCloud, Vimeo, or Audioboo, or a text snippet. Give your piece of content a title and also describe the story behind it. Think about the type of license you'd like to attribute to your content, which first and foremost lets people know how they can use your item. You will be able to choose from a drop-down list, and we recommend a Creative Commons license, which lets other people use your content as long as they credit you. You can read more about the licenses in the link to the right. Then, add a date to record when your piece of content was created. If you don't know the exact date of when your photo was taken or when your audio or video was recorded, please provide a date range. In the mapping section, choose a location for your content. If you only have an approximate location, check the box next to I have a rough location for my pin and type in a general area, town, or region. If you know the exact address, tick the box for an exact location and type in the address. If you choose this option, you can also try your hand at overlaying your content onto Google Street View. If your photo was taken from the street or you would like to give wider context to a video, for example, tick the box and use the tools in the pop-out window. Below this, Add tags that you think will make your content more discoverable on History Pin. And in the Collections and Tours section, choose one of your existing collections or tours to add your content into, or create a new one on the right. In the last section, you have the option of filling out additional fields to say more about where your piece of content came from and how others can use it. Once you're done filling out these fields, click Save and you'll see your new pin mapped along with your existing collection of pins. If you have any additional questions, please visit the FAQ section of our community forum or email hello at historypin.org.